Stace. I am back today with two more cards in our simple everyday Cricut cartridge series that we are doing. And today we are making a congratulations card and a have a great day card. I just go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to Cricut.com slash design. You will see this screen, upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you were logged in. You want to come down here and click where it says Create New Project. Left-hand side toolbar, click on Insert Images. We're going to change this from All Images to Cartridges. In the search box, type in the word Simple. And we want the Simple Everyday Cards. I'm going to click on View All Images. On the right hand side below the funnel, I'm going to click on the four squares to make the images larger. Now we're going to try to find our congratulations card and the have a great day. This is sometimes the hardest part. All right there, let's have a great day there. And there's the congratulations. Bottom right, click on insert images. And you will see here both cards are different. One goes top to bottom, one goes left to right. Left hand side toolbar, click on set canvas. I'm going to click on cards. You'll see the canvas piece here. Now this card, because it's going left to right, we're going to use this piece. Take the whole card in the upper left hand corner of that canvas and then use the arrow keys to make it be larger to fit the entire canvas piece. Now to know the size of this card, I'm going to, I have that one selected. Go to the right hand side toolbar under edit leave the lock connected and make the width be 18.51 and then click on enter. That'll make it fit perfectly inside that canvas piece for us. Now this one, because this one does go this way, we want to change our canvas. Go to the right hand side toolbar, click on canvas under type, click on bifold horizontal and you see this one goes this way. Again, the same thing, line the corner of the card up, use the arrow keys to bring it down. And again, I already know the size of this one. Have that one so I like to go to edit on the right hand side again leave the lock connected and we're going to make this one be 15.6 and click on enter all right now i want to go ahead and right click on them and choose ungroup bring my envelopes over there do the same thing on this one ungroup it bring the envelope out of my way so we have this piece and this gray piece is going to go behind it i'm going to right click on that and choose copy right click again and choose paste so we want two of those one for the behind the Part that cuts out, and then one for the liner inside the card. Now we can set those guys aside. Right click and move this one out of my way. Again, we want two of these. So right click and choose copy, right click and choose paste. All right, we can move them out of their way. Now, if you remember on the first card, the card I showed you guys, I have this part cut out. What I'm going to do is go to my left hand side toolbar, click on insert shapes. I'm going to grab a square. I'm going to bring the square up, I'm going to unlock the lock, and I'm going to bring my square down right to that square mark, just like that. Click on the card piece, right click on that one, and choose detach, and click on the card again, and you should be able to see the square mark there. I'm going to remove that, take your mouse across the entire piece, the card and the square, go to the right hand side toolbar under layers, and click on slice. That's going to slice this part off the card for us. Bring that down and get rid of these two pieces there. Have this piece selected. Go to the right hand side toolbar or edit. I want to unlock the lock for the size. And I want this to be 5.25 in width and four inches tall. So it'll be four by five and a quarter. All right, top toolbar, go ahead and click on go. So we have the envelope there and the envelope. We have that card. Our pieces for the inside of the card, and they're all going to be the same color. I'm making all of mine be white. Then we have that piece there. Bottom right, click on Go. I'm going to cut these out. We'll go to the table and put our cards together. All right, you guys, we have the card cut out. We're going to go ahead and finger press on those score marks to kind of get them started for us. Grab our bone folder. And now for the inside, for that gold piece here, I'm actually using the Cricut Pearl paper. I'm going to take that. And we're going to back it with some white as well. I'm going to grab this glue, and again, I'm using this uh, Scotch glue pen. It's a dual applicator. I'm using the side that has a dauber on it. And just go ahead and 
rub around all these letters to make sure all they all of them stay flat for us on our card. Okay, now we're gonna go and take that paper here, and this is cut to be four by five and a quarter. Now to hide that yuckiness, we're going to go ahead and lift this up, move this out of the way, put the cat back on that guy. There we go. It's not going to stay. Okay, we'll do it that way. Right, now we're going to grab our art glitter glue. I get this from MamieMadeIt.com, and this piece as well is four by five and a quarter. We're going to go ahead and put glue all the way around the end, the edge of it and then plop this on there and that's going to hide that piece there. Just like the card we did, I guess it was last week when we used the vellum. Kind of the same concept here. All right, now we have this piece. I save a little piece of this. This is um, a half inch by five and a quarter. I'm going to grab my piece of paper here again. Just fully coat that guy with glue. And we're going to put this piece right here on the end work hard like that make sure it's straight if it's not straight then purposely go crooked all right so that's going to take care of the inside of the card really simple right okay So there's that card. There's the inside, and then we have the outside. Now, let's grab the envelope. I actually need another piece of that paper. I'm going through my scraps to see if I have another piece of that gold Cricut Curl paper. I know I do. Just give me a second. My scrap room is completely upside down today. All right. Let's go ahead and first finger press or score marks. I was going to do a black envelope, but I don't like doing the envelope the same side or the same color as the card. So I went with the white. I figured we'll bring out the white that we have on the inside. Okay. Crease this one. And this one. Grab our art glitter glue again. Put it on one flap and bring this flap down on that flap over. All right, now, before I seal this up, I want to grab some of this to kind of accent the card. I'm going to cut this to be the same width, which is a half inch. All right, and I'm going to lay this down this way. I'm going to put this right here. So I'm going to grab my scrap paper again. Now I like using the dauber glue on this because if I use the art glitter glue, you're going to see the glue marks. This way the entire thing is covered with glue. So you can also put it like that in the envelope too, but I'm going to just you know, go with my original idea, put it right there, and bring these over on the inside. You can just cut them off. I'll probably just cut them off. They're probably not going to stay there. Okay, well that one's staying. Give that guy a little squish. Then we're gonna just seal this up for the bottom of the card. See that? Could have put it on the front too, but it's on the back. Probably would have better on the front. Alright, so there's that envelope. I'm gonna crease this one. This is what it gives us something pretty look at on this side. So there you have it, guys. There's that card there in the envelope. The congratulations card with the Cricut gold foil. Um, any questions, let me know. All right, let's now move on to card number seven. All right, this is actually card number eight, not number seven. All right, so what I did with this one, as you guys seen in the Cricut, I went ahead and cut this piece out, and we're gonna put it on our own piece of cardstock. This is eight and a half by five and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter to make the card base. And we have our three or our two pieces here. They both measure four by five and a quarter. This one, I hope you guys can see there, the design. 
really fun to do that. And we did this a while back in a toddler Tuesday. We're going to take some shaving cream. You want to have the kind that foams up. A paper plate. Going to squirt that on there. And we're going to bring in some food coloring. A few drops of green. You can make them be all one color or different colors. Then we have some yellow. All right. Now we're going to grab a little popsicle stick, a little stir stick. I'm going to pick this up, otherwise, I'm going to get on my card and give it a stir. Set that aside. Now it comes the messy part. We're going to take one of those pieces and press it in. And you want to have it go all the way to the end. Okay. Set that aside. Now we're going to pick this guy up. Woo, look at that. All right, now we're going to bring in a paper towel. I'm going to lay this guy down. Fold the paper towel over. Take that same or stick that you had. Just go ahead and kind of rub it to get all the extra shaving cream off. Open that up. Take this one off. Get rid of that here. Okay, I'm going to use it again. I have more paper towel over here. I'm going to give it a nice little rub. all the extra shaving cream off. Okay, that looks like that. Now if you don't like it, you can always go back in and do a re-dip. Let's grab this because you missed part of it right there. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of dip it in. Bring our paper towels back over. I think I actually like it. Now for the inside of the card, we want to do the inside as well. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper. All right, so the inside, if I go back to my card here, I have it kind of going on the side. So take your popsicle stick or your whatever you're using, and you want to pick it up from the side. Just going to let you know a good amount of shaving cream on that one, and then just kind of place it down and pull. If you don't have enough on there, you can go back in. I'm going to wipe this off. Make sure it's nice and clean. And come this way with it. Okay, so the inside of our card is done. The outside of the card is done. Now I'm going to grab our envelope. I'll just have that shaving cream. Alright, we're going to go ahead and wash my hands off. I'm going to score this guy up or finger press it first. Okay. We're going to do the same thing we did for the inside of the card, but this time on the envelope. I'm going to seal it up. I'm using art glitter glue from Mamie Made It. Up the bottom part of it. Okay. It's sealed really well. All right, let's bring another piece of scrap paper. We'll use the same one. Just fold it in half. I'm actually going to use another one because I have shaving cream there. All right, do the same thing. Grab some more of the shaving cream and food coloring. And we're going to swipe it across the envelope. I'm going to start off my paper first and see how that looks. Ooh, I like that. That's fun. Okay, so now I'm going to take another paper towel and just kind of wipe all this off. Okay, so there's our envelope. We have it on that side too. You know what? That's fine. If you, if you get it on the back, you know what? Do the whole thing, right? I'm just going to kind of dot it on here so the whole envelope will kind of be done. 
No mistakes in crafting. This way it doesn't look like we messed up, but you have it all over our card. They never look like this. Okay? All right, now that I'm a complete, a complete mess, take some more paper towels. Good thing I brought the whole roll in here. You can also use newspaper too. Okay. Actually looks kind of neat. I'm getting more shaving cream on me. Our envelope is all done. I am covered in shaving cream. I just take all this away. Now, this part is still going to be wet and pliable. So what I want to do is grab another paper towel. I have extra shaving cream on there. Isn't that pretty? All right. Now, what I grab, I'm going to bring in my cutting board. I'm going to turn off my heat gun and go ahead and heat these dry real quick. So I'm gonna hit polish for that, I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Everything should be nice and dry now. Alrighty, so we have our card base. I'm gonna go ahead and flop this guy on the inside. And when I first did this card, um, I didn't, I just did the whole card, and I didn't like the lettering laying on top of the shaving cream art behind it because you really couldn't see it. So I wanted to pop it up, and I was like, well, I really can't pop it up because that's going to go on the inside, and that's why we went ahead and cut all this off. All right, so I went ahead and put dimensionals all the way around this guy to save some time. Take the paper backings off. Should have done that as well. There really is a fun technique that shaving cream. I see it on Pinterest. People were doing, they were dyeing their eggs in the shaving cream art. I don't know. I don't know how good that is because you know that you're eating it, but they make really pretty designs anyway. All right, so I think I got them all off. Okay, I'm going to scooch those guys away, bring this guy over, and it may still be kind of bendy, just kind of straighten it out a little bit. All right, we're going to bring this guy on top. I'm actually going to do it this way, it's going to be easier that way. So we're going to put this on there, lining up the sides and the top, and give it a good little squish, and now we have that. Thank you. All right, now what we need to do now is adhere this to the front of the card. You can see again, it is all warpy because the paper is not thoroughly dried, but it's close enough. We're gonna just go ahead and put a boatload of glue on it. And the glue will make it lay flat for us. And this is the Art Glitter Glue by Mamie Made It, I'm not, or from MamieMadeIt.com, not sure I said that already. Alrighty. And I'm gonna plop this on here. And we have it smaller so we can still see the red. All right, now I flip it over like this and just give it a rub. Just make sure I got that glue everywhere. So a fun little take on the card, right? I definitely love that shaving cream. So there's that one. And then there's the inside and then there's our fancy envelope like that. And you know, I can see here there's not a, quite a lot of red on here. I can go back in there to that shaving cream, add more red, and come back and blot it more to kind of mimic that. But nonetheless, you can see it's a set. So there we have card number eight. And card number seven here was a congratulations card. So congratulations and have a great day. All right, guys, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.